Hey guys, your inner chakras. Welcome back to the channel, guys. If you are new, you are welcome. Happy Saturday, June 1st. It is what it is, guys. Let's just dig in. I call myself laying down, taking a nap. I had a long day. A good day, but a long day, right? Because feet, but I told myself I need to drop a few videos before I lay down and close my eyes for tonight. All right, Holy Spirit, for the collective, guys, feel free to put these energies, but let's see what's going on. This is the shush deck, things you probably don't know about. You know, it's like, shh, hush, don't, whatever. Don't let them find out. Don't tell them. Holy Spirit, for the collective, let the energies pull. play a lot of games right guys that's what I feel oh three first second and third someone has hidden fear afraid to walk away from a situation this was similar to the readings that I did yesterday it was like there was this man and and I said it was a man because it came out a man in Kipper and then it came out a man in um, what deck was I using it was another deck that I used that it confirmed it was a man. I think it was one of my decks. But hidden fear way to walk away from situations. So it's like somebody's in a situation and the person that they're with is either controls them or just I don't know, maybe have something I don't know. But they're afraid afraid to walk away. It could be money, it could be anything. Somebody's afraid to walk away from a situation. They're just there, sitting idle. I mean I don't know where that fear comes from unless you have a lot to lose but if you planned well right let's talk about it my mother always told me and I'm grown as hell now and my mother's passed over but one thing she always told me is whenever you move in with a man make sure you can afford that place by yourself right so if it's three thousand dollars a month for the two of you can you afford it by yourself if he chooses to leave? And if you are a man, can you afford it? So never move into a place that you can't afford by yourself or you can't afford to leave, right? As grown folks, most of you probably either had your own place. And if you're a young adult, then you're coming from your parents' place. But you should still have enough to afford a place on your own. You damn sure don't go and rent a place that you can't afford by yourself or you, you don't live with somebody and you just can't afford to move out. I don't know what that is, right? So just cover yourself. And then they said, I judge you and me, worried about the opinions of others. So they're afraid to walk away from someone else. But then they also judge you and them. They was worried about the opinions of others, what people would think. Y'all don't belong together. You could do better. She's this, she's that. He's this, he's that. Blah, blah, blah. They're not your ex. Da, da, da. But see, that's the game of life people are going to have opinions opinions are like assholes everybody has one right Every, everybody has one doesn't make it right unless you allow it to make it right in your own sense you know you know ugh, ugh, blah, blah, blah. this wasn't supposed to be love for me love just happened so maybe they fell in love with you maybe they felt like they wasn't supposed to but now they, they fell in love with you but they also feel like they're going to be judged by others if they be with you. And then they also have this hidden fear of walking away from the situation. So if you ask me, you can scratch these last two. The thing that has this person held like in a headlock or whatever, just shook them up against the wall in a corner, beating them from time to time, is the fact that they are afraid to walk away from a situation. It's not the judgment of others. And it's not the quote unquote, this wasn't supposed to be love for me. That's bullshit. It's they're in a situation that they can't seem to get themselves out of because they're ussy pay, right? Right. Your skirt. Your skirt. Let's put some kipper on this. They're afraid to walk away from a situation, yada, yada. Guys, I don't know what's going on with these masculines, but 
they need to get it together. Because that's not masculine like. And you know, over here in tarot and all this stuff, it's masculine, it's the DMs, it's divine feminine, and this and that, and blah, 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 woo, woo, woo. Scratch all that shit, right? It's a man who's afraid to walk away from a situation. Or it's a woman who's afraid to walk. Like, scratch the divine feminine and divine masculine, right? Just bring it down to layman's terms. Let's just make it make sense with real life, real people, you know, all this stuff. I don't get it. I don't get it. Holy Spirit. Guys, chalk this reading up to me being tired. And when I'm, whoo, child. Holy Spirit. Somebody's scared to walk away. I don't know why. Get your shit in order, right? What are you afraid of? I've never been afraid to walk away from a situation, right? I will walk away. If it's not benefiting me, if I'm not happy, I will walk away. It may take me a minute, and it's not fear. It's just getting my ducks in order. Making sure my paperwork is straight, my this and that is straight, my home is straight, where I'm going is straight. Do I want to stay here, keep it, give it up? sell it split the profits I don't know but nobody's gonna back me into a corner and that's how you should be too that's how you should be too don't let nobody back you in the corner Holy Spirit and if they want to leave you let them go open the front door you don't beg nobody to be with you Holy Spirit the fuck? you don't beg nobody to be with you Here's a courtship. They're in a relationship that they're afraid to walk away from. They're afraid to walk away from something for whatever reason. Which means you don't want this person anyway because they're, they're forever attached. And they're wuss. High honors. They see you in high honors, I guess. They see you in high honors, but they're worried about other people's opinion. This man is definitely in his thoughts. This wasn't supposed to be love for me. I wasn't supposed to fall in love with you, Tabitha. I wasn't. I was supposed to stay here in this relationship right here and be scary. Guys, I'm sorry. My window was up and my neighbors, the, the babies are outside. They're playing. Holy Spirit, clarify this courtship. False person. They're dealing with the false person. That they're afraid to walk away from. So they're afraid of this lady here, right? Yes, it shows a white lady here. But she can be brown, she can be tan, she can be orange, she can be Spanish, she can be whatever, right? But it's a woman. It's a woman. He's afraid to walk away from a woman. How do I know it's a woman? Because this man right here is in his thoughts. And he, he judged you. He's worried about the opinions of others. He's afraid to walk away from the situation. Guys, don't wait on that. What you do is you continue to live your life, right? And if you run into Craig and them or whatever, and you decide to date Craig, date Craig. Because guess what? He's dating who he wants to date, and he's afraid to leave it. He goes home to it every night or goes to it every night or it comes to him every night. But then he, he, he'll he never tell you he's afraid to leave. No, 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 no. What he's going to tell you is he was afraid of the opinions of others and that this wasn't supposed to be love. He wasn't supposed to fall in love with you. I know y'all like, girl, get to the reading. This is the reading. You know I'm a storyteller. Holy Spirit. <laughs> Hi, Honor. Some, some people appreciate it, right? Others may not. I don't know. This man is in despair. He's sad. He's upset. He need a hug from his mommy. Maybe from his daddy. Right? He's in despair. You know why this man is in despair? Because he's scared of whoever this woman is. Or he's scared of whatever is in that situation there. He's scared maybe they're married. He's scared maybe they have a lot of things together. He's scared maybe she's the breadwinner. He's scared that it's a lifestyle that, oh, they travel five, ten times a year. They do this, they do that. He's scared to lose it all. She foots the bill. I don't know. What are you scared to walk away from? Right? He's afraid to walk away. Are well, you afraid that this woman's going to beat you? She's not going to beat you. She doesn't want to go to jail. 
So what is the fear? Is it monetary? Does she know something? Does she got a secret on you or something? I don't know. Holy Spirit, clarify these thoughts. It's just been a long journey for this person. And it's going to continue to be a long journey as long as he's afraid to walk away from a situation. It is what it is. And that's just the truth. He's afraid. Maybe she has children by him and she's like, look. I'm going to file for child support and I'm going to take all your money. You know, that could be a thing too. But that still doesn't mean you stay. That doesn't mean you stay. Because you're both not happy. If, if one has to use idle threats to make you stay, then let them file for child support. You can still move on and be happy with someone else. If you, if you so choose, whatever. Holy Spirit, clarify this hidden fear. And why is this man afraid to walk away from a situation? Clarify the hidden fear. And why is this man afraid to walk away from a situation? It's Ten of Cups. Have family. Didn't I tell you? They may even have children. Mm, mm, mm. This is supposed to be their fulfillment, right? Their dreams come true. Family, contentment, total love and support. So they have support there. They have a family there. They have everything. The whole kit and caboodle with that person. But they're not happy. Because if they were happy, there would not be a you. You wouldn't have entered the equation here. If they're so happy and content, I think they have family children that they're afraid to walk away from. I believe it attaches to their money. They don't want to lose their money. So they're afraid to walk away from the family. They're probably afraid of what their family's going to think. They was already worried about the opinions of others. You gotta leave your kids for this woman blah blah blah. Holy Spirit, clarify this Ten of Cups here. There's no passion in this relationship. This man is uninspired, don't have any motivation, misdirected activities and energies. He doesn't know what to do. He's just there because of family, maybe what family's going to think and this and that. You know, I can't. Holy Spirit, clarify I judge you and me, worried about the opinions of others. Four of Wands in reverse. There's a breakdown in communication, conflict with others. He doesn't want the conflict with others if he walks away. Could be a lack of support. I don't know. Conflict. If he walks away. I, I don't know. I don't know. He's scared what family will think, guys. This person's frustrated. They feel like giving up. Their confidence is destroyed. They feel overwhelmed. And they're just overly protective. Basically, this man is afraid of what family would think if he walked away. So he's not doing anything. He's playing it small. Has a lack of planning. Unexpected delays, obstacles to his long-term goals, if he has any. This man not going anywhere. He's not going anywhere. Not anytime soon. I would say wait until they grow up, but everybody over here is grown. Holy Spirit, what's going on with this man? What is he thinking about in his thoughts? Everything I just said. There's deception here. This is all talk. It's manipulation. This person is deceiving you. It's all talk. Half-hearted action. Half haphazard action. So this person is just talking, 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 but deceiving you. He could be lying to you. He's never going to leave that woman. He's afraid. He's afraid of what family's going to think. Probably got kids and all that stuff. He's afraid to be judged by other people. Like, you crazy if you leave her, this and that. <sighs> Holy Spirit. This man is in despair. This man is in despair. 
Spirit, what's going on here? Their energy is unbalanced, guys. Could be addiction, trying to self-heal, trying to realign, living in excess, whatever. They're not standing in their power. They have a lack of confidence. They, they also are narcissists, so they talk the talk, but they don't walk the walk, right? A narcissist is nothing but an asshole and a big-ass dreamer and people that make things bigger than thou, bigger than what they really seem to be. I don't know. Nar narcissistic people need to be stroked, right? They need to be fed. They need to be complimented. They need to be heard. They need to be see me, see me, see me, watch me, watch me, watch me. That's a narcissist. A narcissist is a pain in the ass. They don't even know that they're a pain in the ass. But that's how we see you, narcissists. You're a pain in the ass. You need too much. You want too much. And deep down inside, you're insecure. That's why you're a narcissist. That, that's why you're a narcissist. I said it. You're a pain in the ass. And you need, you need the energies of others to make you feel good about yourself. I can't. All right? I don't have it in me to give. Oh, child. What's going on? This person, they're not a hangman anymore. They're just at a standstill. They're resisting. They're stalling. They're indecisive. They have a fear of sacrifice and a lack of control. So they're not willing to sacrifice this. They're scared to sacrifice it. They're afraid to let it go because of family. The family that they have with this person and then their family families and judgment of others and all of these things. Although they're unhappy and they're miserable. So whoever this woman is, this man is lying to you. He's just saying any old thing. He'll never tell you what I just told you. He's not going to tell you that. And he's not going to tell you what the tarot card said. But he's holding on to too much, although he's unhappy. Down to his bare little bones. You know, like when you skin your knee down to the bone. He done skinned his whole ass body down to the bone. Unhappy, miserable. Because you can't be this happy and then allow someone else in. He let you in. But now that you're getting close, close, and you're probably expecting more from this man, he can't do it. And he's blaming it on others, but deep down inside, it's him. This man put himself in despair. He has this mutual attraction for you, though. He wants to give you this two of cups. He wants to connect with you. He just can't. He's not going to. Guys, don't wait for this. I'm telling you to move on. Stop waiting for this. But this man here is just still living in the past. He wants to leave home. He wants to be independent. He, he, he doesn't want to go back to this past. But he never left the past. He's still there. This man is still there. He's over it, guys. He's meditating, contemplating. He's disconnected from everything. He's just, he's just been on this long journey. I don't know how long he's going to be on this journey or how long he's going to ride this ride. But he's definitely riding this ride. So, I don't know what you're going to do, feminine energies. But this man is not going to make a move. He's afraid to. He has too much to lose. And he's afraid of the opinions of others. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. Peace.